Hi guys, it's Eileen here, and it is April 7th, uh, 2014, and I was asked by Veronica Paddingtonson fan, I didn't, I don't know if I can pronounce it all right, um, that's her YouTube channel name, so you want to check her out. She makes these doodle girls, and they're really, really cute, and she asked me to, she challenged me to make a doodle girl, so I haven't drawn really in... A very very long time I think I drew one little ETC and it looked horrible so I'm gonna try to draw a doodle girl and her doodle girls have one eye and like flowing hair so I don't know let's see if I can do this so here I go I'm gonna draw one one eye and I'm so not sure about this <laughs> and I'm gonna make kind of the face here so I'm gonna have the hair I made the eye extra big on purpose so I don't know how that's gonna hmm. look oh my goodness <laughs> um see I'm already having trouble this is crazy so what I want to do is kind of work on the eye here I guess um she makes great doodle girls. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm not a anime drawer, but I don't know. I probably should have kind of looked at other drawings before I really started this video. Okay, so. I was kind of wanting dramatic eyes. So, no, that's not, no, that's not too bad, I suppose. So that's my eye. I don't know how long this is going to take me. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> Can I do humongo lips? Is that big enough? think so. So, um, I'm being too quiet, sorry. Okay, now do I do a nose? Gosh, I don't notice if she had a nose on. Okay, I don't know if you can see her now better, but I'm drawing her quite light for the moment because, well, I, I'm going to go in darker later, right? Because I'm not sure. Whew, I'm not sure about her yet. So... Her hair, oh my goodness, drawing her hair. This is crazy, crazy. Mm. If this video doesn't work, uh.
okay. This is not terribly bad. It's not as, as hard. I mean, it's not great work, but I mean, it's not... It's not feeling like a lot of effort has to go into... It's not stressing out that bad. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm kind of not liking some of this part here. And I'm probably shaking the heck out of my camera there. A little easier. Blowing hair. So we want to have... Hair that kind of just... Flows. And then I got do doodle in her hair, I suppose, eh? Oh boy. We're going to have a couple of shorties. Wow. So I suppose her neck's going to come right here. You know what's really cool? It's kind of like that steampunk hair that's all different lengths. I've seen it on some people. I wish I could pull it off. It only looks great on the movies because they don't have to the style it themselves. Right? To where it's like long and looks perfect on the movies and short. Okay. What am I going to put in her hair? I'm going to shake I'm not sure. Um, I got to do doodles in there. Never mind just making hair here. Oh, I don't know. What did she have in her hairs? Dear. Okay, how about... I have no idea what I'm doing now. It's sectioning it out some of the hair here, I guess. A little... Doodly. Kind of spot. Maybe she's got like string wrapped around her hair. You know how you do the different colors of string. Oh, this is hideous. Okay, calm down. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit like, ah. Uh. Hmm. Back and forth some more string or something like that in her hair. I've seen that. That's kind of cool. So I gotta keep talking because I'm like gonna bore you guys to death on the video. This video is for Veronica, anyways. So yeah. So I think she'll like it. So that's her so far. I'm actually liking the um, 
and when I do the coloring part, I'm gonna have to. Mm, I'm gonna have to. Uh, do it in color too now because I just said that there's going to be colored string on here so now I'm going to be like yeah hmm it's got a little tattoo on her cheek She's got a little piercing on her chin. Don't know why. Just does. And on her nose. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do more here. I used to do a lot of drawing, but I never really did people. I used to do animals. They're easy. <laughs> I did a really beautiful ink drawing of uh, elephants. And I've done a, a really cool crucifix one with, uh, it was all silver and black ink. And you actually, it was a silhouette of the crucifix. And that was a wedding gift for somebody. So, and I had like clouds in the background, I had silver lining on the clouds, which was really cool. And I think I actually had metallic gold in there, like the metallic silver, metallic gold. It was all ink, metallic inks with the little ink pens. And then I had to dip my, I had a little well pen thing to dip the, um, into the gold and silver. And my children were way younger then, so they actually played with it and bent the tips so they wouldn't write anymore. So that was that. That was a gift, and I have never replaced it. And that was... had to have been... close to 12 years ago. No, 11, 10, 11 years ago. That's the last time I drew. Besides that little ATC card that I drew, I tried to draw an anime on it. Holy, that was horrible. Anyway, she's looking cute ish. And I am not being very accurate on my spacing for the hair here, but. That's C'est la vie. I also drew a lot, when I did ink, I did shading and dots and lines, and just like, um, hashtag, what's that called, you know, oh, it took a long time, but it was fun, and that's where I got my really sore hands from doing that so long, but... Yeah, so this is her so far. Probably not as duly as I'm supposed to do it. Oh. I could feel it in my fingers. Oh, this is fun. I wish I'd been doing this in ink. I should have started it in ink. But, I can feel it in my fingers. When 
you do something really, and then sometimes you're like, oh man, I should have done that ink so it was more permanent, you know, because this stuff kind of, sometimes if you don't get the spray on there, it smears. I used to do all my drawings in pencil, and then somebody said, well, no one's really going to buy it because it's in pencil, so then I started doing it in ink, and then started selling them. Yeah. There is my doodle girl so far. Let's see how many minutes am I into this? Twelve minutes. I don't know what else to add on her. I'm just trying to think. Like. I gotta be doing more than just oh, lines and uh, some thread in her hair. Make it more interesting. I don't know. Seems to be really suiting her though. That is holy. That is, uh, I admire people who can do this still because that's a lot of work on the hands. <laughs> I'm complaining, I'm whining. Veronica, that is just great that you can do this still. Okay, give me a few seconds to stretch out my hands, guys. I'm going to pause it. Okay, guys, I'm back again. I grabbed my coffee. I had a Rice Krispie Square. And, yeah. Here we go again. So, I'm just going to lighten up the eye makeup that I have, or eye lashes that I have on there, because uh, I want to put the same dramatic eyelashes, but... I think I want to. No, I don't like that. Let's redo that. Let's redo that. Mm -hmm. How do I want this? Oh boy. Don't mess up now. Let's see. I really wanted it to do. It like we'll just do thinner lines. I made the marks too hard here. Gotta watch that you don't draw too heavy when you're starting off. And I'm wiggling the camera, I know I am, because I'm wiggling the table with my drawing. Well. Uh, 
So, my eyelashes are coming down. Like this. Fairly dark. But I didn't want them quite all the way. Now I'm going to work on the eye a little bit more. Make it more rounded. See, when you do dark lines like I just did earlier, kind of mess up the drawing a bit. So, okay, so this is her, so far her eye is looking very surprised. <laughs> okay, and I want to add kind of these lines into her eyes, like this. Now if you notice, people's eyes are like waves of oh, awesomeness to their pupil, their um, colors and stuff like that. And it just looks like, even if you look like a marble and they have the layers of the waves. And so I'm going to try to mimic that a bit with this in a more cartoony anime type of way. Or whatever you call it. I don't know if this is known to be considered anime because they do way cool stuff. So I know her art eye looks a little dark. I'm not sure what color it is. But she's a doodle girl, so it's kind of like my perception, right? And she's going to have a couple little unique spots in her eyes. And now I'm going to kind of erase a little patch of... whites here as the reflection from the light is in her eyes. And that's my doodle girl's eyes. If this is a little girl now. Because I don't know how doodly this is. When I think doodle, I think like doo doo doo. I don't know. Okay. This is her eye. Okay, let's do some more hair. And I'm going to do more string in the hair kind of thing. Yep.
So this is a kind of really cool challenge. So thanks, Veronica. So I haven't drawn like in forever. So that's kind of cool for me. To get back into it a little bit. I'm sorry I'm not talking very much. <laughs> so this is it. This is her. I don't even know what she could be called. Don't know. So I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how many hairs I should put out here. So I don't know when to stop. <laughs> if I should add more different doodles, I'm not sure yet. I used to draw lots of uh, weird things like wood plank floors and stuff like that and I'd actually have the wood grain in it <laughs> and stuff and even the nails of like the end board nails like you know how you do the you do the wood grain and you have your your board kind of like this oh man I'm not even drawing straight and you have your little nails, marks, did like pages and pages of that. Just like hardwood floor type of thing. And I used to do that for my backgrounds. And I usually draw them in after, right? I don't know why I'm doing that now. It just reminded me of that. This uh, hair. Just going really dark on the edges as I'm totally ignoring you guys and not talking. So I kind of see if I had ink it would look really different. But you know what I'm liking the I'm liking her like this anyhow with the pencil so um I haven't drawn in so long. I'm so happy about this actually. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doodling like this, if it's supposed to be more of a. I don't know. More of a fun doodle, like a cartoony doodle, I don't know. If I failed you. I'm sorry, Veronica. It's very addicting. Except for my hands would not be able to handle it. 
to get back into drawing a lot, a lot. Mm. Nope, my hands would not be able to handle it, but to do it once in a while is great. Oh, this is kind of cool. I'm liking it. Thank you, Veronica. I miss this. I don't think I actually conquered your challenge because it's not that doodly. But I'm happy. I think that's what uh, art's about, being happy. And I like it. You know what's going to be really hard? Stopping. <laughs> I think my fingers will do that for me. They're starting to be hard to move now. Starting to make for have to force and think of my movements in my hands. That's when you know it's like, uh-uh. And you're like, go do that. Come on, you can round off the corners. I like it. She's cute. She's not like the best. She's not nearly what wonderful girls you have with the cute curlies and what's that? Like zing tangle something somewhat in her hair and stuff. Oh. I don't think I can go much further. Oh, wow. And this is only like, I don't even know how long of a video now. Well, you got really strong hands, Veronica, because you do all the time. This is just great. I bet you if I exercised my fingers by drawing all the time again, it would help, but I know I had to stop because of the, the pain. Oh, so gorgeous. The hair is just kind of um, addicting to go on. So addicting. Hmm. So now, how about her face? Should we thin it out a bit? Darken it up a bit? Something about her face. I want to darken it up a bit. Wow. Veronica, I'm singing. This is horrible. <laughs> okay, let's darken this part up here a bit. I'm like in that, and I'm like getting really was getting too much with the hair, although I'm not quite done it. You can go overboard, right? All right. So her nose and her chin and her mouth is kind of crooked. Whoopie do. No one's face is perfect, right? <laughs> what? 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 Well. This girl's not gonna like me. Okay, that's her nose. It's very light. Um, not sure how much more to go on with that. Now with her lips. Ugh. 
I wonder if I should add color to that when I do them. I don't know. I know I want to add color to just the hair things for sure. And I think that's it. <laughs> this is she. Uh, I'm hoping this is not going to be a hugely long video. Might have to upload it tonight when I'm in bed. It takes forever to upload videos, so my phone not to be in service that much. Okay, so here's her little earring there. Oh, ears. She has no ear, but they're kind of behind. That's okay. That's okay. And her little, I don't even know what they're called. Face ring. What are they called on the face? Are they called face rings? I don't know. Bling. Making her nose a little wider. She's gonna love me, this girl. Giving her such a big nose. Well, I want it a little bit wider and give her a little bit of a darker face on this side. So, I think this is my girl. I don't know what else to tell you or add. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to add a little um, jewelry to her neck. Because I can. Yes, because I can. So I'm not a very talkative person when drawing. Wow. So I don't know. I think this is it. I don't know how long this video is. And um, this can go on forever. 
I can add things forever, which is probably, see, I can add things forever, which is not good for my hands. <laughs> I'm going to add some lace border to this choker. Because this choker is going to be kind of like a piece that is like a steampunk piece. Okay, guys, this is the uh, finished picture of the Google, uh, Doodle Girl that I did for Veronica. And I needed to color it kind of on my own just because the time on the uh, video was getting long. And so I don't know if it's considered a real Doodle Girl, but it says... Doodle Girl for Veronica. So I'm this one's for Veronica. I signed it and I'm gonna send it to you, Veronica. So that's my Doodle Girl for you. So I hope you like it and I hope that qualifies for a Doodle Girl. Thanks guys for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.